A 10 point win over a top 20 team is a pretty good way to start the season for Notre Dame as the Fighting Irish down the 20th ranked Texas A&M Aggies 23 to 13 here at Kyle Field and College Station tonight in front of over 107,000 fans. And this win is not just a season defining one, but also a program defining one for Notre Dame as it shows this team what they're really capable of for the 2024 season. And this game was a big one. Kyle Field down in College Station with a packed house and plenty of Irish fans in attendance ready to see new quarterback Riley Leonard make his Notre Dame debut. Right from the start, this was a defensive battle as both teams were just trading field goals. First up for AM, Randy Bond. Well, he nails a 34 yarder here. That puts them up 3 0. A couple minutes later, it's Notre Dame's turn. Mitch Jeter puts a 46 yarder through the upright, so now we're all tied up at three apiece. Second quarter, AM gets another three points. This one a 49 yarder from Bond. That's good. But then the Irish defense, they start making some plays. Aggie QB Connor Wegman throws and a Don Schuler makes the play, picks this ball off. The Notre Dame defense is coming up big, but as you can guess, well, the Irish just get a field goal after that one. The Irish defense were still coming up huge tonight. Wegman back to throw and Howard Cross comes through. Brings him down for a sack on third down that forces a fourth that stops that drive. Next a and drive and well, it's another interception for the Irish defense. This one by Xavier Watts. He led the country in picks last year. Well, he's back doing the same this season. All right, coming out of half, it's tied at just six apiece. And here's where things finally get interesting. Jadarian Price makes a cut, another one. He just keeps moving upfield and eventually finds nothing but daylight. 47-yard TD run, finally a touchdown, and Notre Dame is up 13 to six. Fourth quarter, and AM has their response. Le'Veon Moss takes it in from just a yard out, so we're now tied up at 13 apiece. All right, less than five minutes to go, and how about the transfer to transfer connection? Riley Leonard to Bo Collins, that's a 20-yard catch. Even after review, it's good. Irish are driving. A couple plays later, back to the ground. Jeremiah Love finds a hole right up the middle. Touchdown, Notre Dame. And with a minute and 54 seconds, they take the lead. Aggies get the ball back. Fourth down. They can't get it. Irish stop them short. They end up tacking on one more field goal to win it, 23 to 13. Notre Dame starts their season with a top 20 win. And a lot of work went into this first game from a lot of different people into, I mean, to, to have it go the way it did. And it, it's like you, you say it's going to be a four quarter game. It's going to come down to the to like very last minute, but it's never fun when it, when it goes that way. Um, but I'm proud of, of how we finish. But at the same point, like it shows that we, we got a dang good football team, but we got a, the head coach and you says refocus and get back to work. Shoot, we're a gritty team and we embrace that. I think that every game we go into, uh, we know we're going to fight our tail off uh, to win. I think we got a lot of talent this year and that complements our hard work. And, and I feel like we can go into any, if we can go into this environment and, and beat a team like that, um, that's coached as well as they are, I feel like that gives us all the confidence in the world to go into any environment in the country. You know, it's, it's just a name. Uh, at the end of the day, we're Notre Dame and, you know, we feel like we can compete with anybody and, you know, that we showed that today. Now the Irish turn their attention back to South Bend, where they'll have their home opener next Saturday against Northern Illinois. And we'll have plenty of more coverage throughout the week leading up to that one right here on WNDU. But for now, signing off in College Station, Jackson Neal, 16 Sports.